Greetings, dudes, dudettes, and all those aspiring to be such things. I am Dude the Wise, but please, just call me Dude. Today we will be reacting and discussing a clip on Christopher Hitchens. Now, Christopher Hitchens, if you don't know, died a number of years ago due to a, a form of cancer that was quite tragic. Uh, but in his time, he was perhaps the most outspoken and the most uh, popular atheist in the world, with the possible exception of Richard Dawkins. He was a very funny man um, and quite charming in some ways. I have my difficulties with him, which we will discuss in a minute, after we react to this clip that uh, involves Hitchens making a very unusual and honestly shocking confession. So without further ado, let's do react to the clip and then discuss it. At some point, certainly, we were all asked, well, which is the best argument you've yet come up against from the other side? And I think every one of us picks the fine-tuning one. It's the, the, the most intriguing. The golden glass. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fine, the fine-tuning, the one degree, well, one degree, one hair different to nothing. But even though it doesn't prove a design, doesn't prove a designer, could all have happened without... It, it, you have to spend time thinking about it working on it. It's not a trivial. We all say that. And then at one point, I think this is not on camera, um, I said, if um, if I could convert everyone in the world, not convert, if I could convince, is it, to be a non-believer. I mean, I've, I've really done brilliantly, and there's only one left, one more, and then it'd be done, and there'd be no more religion in the world. No more tears, tears. I wouldn't do it. And Dawkins said, what do you mean you wouldn't do it? <laughs> it's a good impression. I said, I don't quite know why I wouldn't do it. And it's not just because there would be nothing left to argue with and no one left to argue with. It's not just that. But it would be that. Somehow, I, if I could drive it out of the world, I wouldn't. And the incredulity with which he looked at Stays with me still. Now that is one of the more interesting clips that you can watch of Christopher Hitchens because most of the time, you know, if you type in Christopher Hitchens on YouTube, all you'll find is Christopher Hitchens owns dumb theist or perfectly illustrates the stupidity of Islam or, or something like that. It's usually Hitchens, you know, just pummeling someone. And I've watched many of his debates, and um, I do think the man was very insightful, although I do think that in a lot of his debates, the reason so many people view him as being the victor in his debates is not necessarily because of all his points, although he did make some very good points in some of the debates I watched. But it was more so his personality that caused him to win the debate. Because he had such a way of turning a phrase and making the crowd laugh, even though often he wasn't actually addressing the point of his debate opponent. Uh, he was simply more charismatic and more entertaining than just about everybody he went up against. With that being said, the arguments he made in God is not great, how religion is poisons everything, I thought were quite interesting when it came to attacking the underpinnings of Christianity and other religions. Although the thing that I thought was so interesting when I read this book was that it's not just that he hated religion, it's that he hated the possibility of there being the idea of God in many ways. He would deny that statement, but I got that sense. That certainly came through it, and it does make me wonder if Christopher Hitchens was brilliantly blind in some ways. Or at least I've thought that in the past, but whenever I watch this clip, it makes me wonder. Because why wouldn't he want to get rid of all the religion in the world? I mean, he said that he wouldn't, actually. And why? Even though the whole thesis of God is not great, how religion poisons everything, is that religion poisons everything. So if religion poisons everything, then why wouldn't you want to get rid of it? If you truly believed that. And so this clip that uh, we just watched, I think it illustrates that maybe Hitchens wasn't as sure of himself on his atheism and his hatred of religion. Anyways though, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for my thoughts on this clip. 
Now I want to know what did you think of this clip and my observations of it. Whatever comments and questions you might have, please leave them in the comment section below. And I would also like to recommend that you check out a video made by one of my good friends, who's also on this channel, whose name is Mr. Peace. Mr. Peace is uh, a free thinker, I think. He is not averse to engaging with figures like Christopher Hitchens and Richard Dawkins. And so I do recommend that you check out his video, uh, Mr. Peace, your spiritual guru. Here's a clip. And I think the reason for why we're ripping each other to shreds is because when you throw out one religion, you gotta replace it with another. And if you don't believe me, then please explain to me why millions of people who have abandoned Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, yada yada yada, have now placed their hopes, dreams, and faith in all of these people. They are the new gods, okay? And their secular religions are liberalism and and conservatism, and they suck. As the great Bob Dylan once said, you gotta serve somebody. Whether it's a political candidate, a celebrity, yourself, God or gods, point is human beings have a religious impulse that we don't seem to be able to get rid of no matter how hard we try. I do recommend you finish watching the rest of that video. I'll leave a card and an in-screen for it. And also, if you're interested in um, the thoughts that the man of many men has, on the Bible, every single book, then you can check out the Bible book review series that are also on this channel over both the New Testament and the Old Testament, where the man of many men, who is me, which is we, goes through each book of the Bible and highlights and underlines all the things that are beautiful and amazing and wise, and then also highlights the things that he has challenges and difficulties with. Very uh, interesting thing to delve into, so I recommend that you delve into that in addition to the Mr. Peace video. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And never forget that the truth matters, and that you should seek it and have the courage to embrace it, no matter what it is or wherever it is found.